the support of my family, and the commitment of educators, I would not stand here today as an Anti-Defamation League unsung hero, a BTW Freedom Rider, a recipient of the prestigious Emory University ML King Ford Scholarship, a Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity and Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Scholar, a George W. Bromley Project Grad Scholar, and a recipient of the Gates Millennium Scholarship, which will cover all of my expenses for my undergraduate and graduate studies. Had I given up, I would not stand here today as a possessor of more than $1 million in scholarship funds. This is the end result of the Atlanta Public Schools High School Transformation Program. Young men and women who graduate academically and financially ready to move on to colleges and universities throughout the country. It's aorta, pulmonary artery, me up. Pulmonary artery and yeah. then pulmonary veins. Yeah. It's like in the mid, middle. And this is what goes into producing that end result. Rigorous, focused, and intensive instruction, along with repetition, study, and review. Here at the South Atlanta School of Health and Medical Sciences, students get hands-on instruction, dissecting animal hearts, which provides them with a glimpse into the everyday world of medical schools and teaching hospitals. It's very important when you look at the fact that a lot of kids don't get to see this until they get to college. So for you to get this in ninth grade when you, when you first get here, you know, by the time you get to college, you should, you should be leaps and bounds ahead of where you need to be. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I would like to thank you for your attention throughout this hearing. You are about to begin your deliberations on what sanctions will, be, will best hold the defendant accountable for their behavior. From medical science to law and justice, the small schools concept has many themes that are designed to attract and retain the attention and interest of students. Well, I chose South Atlanta Law and Social Justice because I was very passionate about being a lawyer because like, I have a family that's incarcerated and they have very good lawyers. And so like, I was very passionate about being a lawyer because I wanted to see them have their freedom. And like some of the stuff that they didn't do, they incarcerated right now because they didn't have good lawyers. So I felt like that if I could make a difference and be a good lawyer, then have for the people who incarcerated for stuff that they didn't do, they'll be out having freedom, doing what they want to do, instead of being behind bars. Uh, if, if you think about the skills that are required to be a lawyer, you have to be able to read and analyze, you have to be able to, to speak in public, you have to be able to reason, you have to be able to write and be persuasive. And if our students can do those things when they leave, they're going to be successful no matter what they do. Three, two, one. Good afternoon and welcome to Maynard Jackson High School Television News. From the courtroom at South Atlanta to the television studio at the Jackson School of Fine Arts and Media Communications, APS high school students have numerous opportunities for hands-on involvement in educational activities normally associated with college and university instruction. All APS high schools have been transformed into small schools and small learning communities, with each campus incorporating from two to four small themed learning environments. The results have been well beyond most expectations. In 2002, which is as far back as we can go to fairly compare graduation data, the old Carver had a graduation rate of only 14.4%. However, this past May, According to data released by the state, the new Carver delivered a graduation rate of 94%. In 2008, uh, our students received $64 million in scholarship opportunities. In 2010, our students received $129 million. If we say that's what we're about, then I think we're getting the big bang for our buck. Foreign language instruction is associated with the International Baccalaureate Program at North Atlanta Center for the Arts, where the instruction mirrors courses taught at colleges and universities, regardless of the specific small school students select. The small learning community uh, is a good fit for North Atlanta High School. Uh, it allows us and our students to be able to cross the small learning community lines for this extra classes. So for example, we have an arts SLC here. Many of the international study students, in addition to their studies, still take an arts class and they do it for four years. 
Same is true for the foreign language that uh, a lot of uh, is taught in my SLC, but people cross into my SLC. So we really enjoy that flexibility to give students and families a chance to see all of the value we have. Students in this dance class at Jackson High School are enrolled in all three small schools on the campus. In fact, there are many opportunities for students enrolled in these smaller themed learning environments to come together for programs and events that are campus-wide, like sports and JROTC. It's a lot less personal, like you, the teachers don't get to know you more as a person in the larger school that's not small learning communities. Here you get to actually know your teacher, get personal, and like it's, you get more recognized in the smaller learning communities than in a wide population of the school. Uh, the small learning community structure really provides the students with a community-based framework. The students are able to um, be very close as well as have very personalized relationships with the teachers and the students. Um, most of the students know one another and they know the teachers and that really makes a big impact on their daily learning. We have a responsibility to ourselves, our families, and our community to be the best we can be. The APS High School transformation also includes the option of single gender educational experiences, including at Best Academy and Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy. Many of our uh, boys come here with different challenges, and we're able to uh, face those challenges or tackle those challenges and make sure every student leaves here uh, successful. Um, we use different strategies. No, but he was, but he was talking about how we promote success uh, in everything that we do. One, two, three, one, two, three. For Carver High School, which was the first APS school to undergo the transformation to the small schools concept, the outcome has been to resurrect an institution that was on the verge of expiring. Well, first of all, the transformation process here in the Atlanta public school system, more specifically for high schools, has been an incredible journey. Um, how did it happen? Uh, it happened as a result of a visionary a leader. Um, our superintendent, Dr. Hall, had a vision. Uh, we had a failing school, a community that was very supportive of their school, but still the school was a failing school in accordance, accordance to the data. Uh, that we reviewed on um, day in and day out. And so she was uh, courageous enough to know and realize that something different had to happen for this campus. So transformation for the Carver community and Carver High School in general was a really a second chance for our students. And it has been an incredible journey and we're really seeing the, um, the data that supports that it is actually working. Uh, one of our major goals of high school transformation is to graduate a minimum of 90% of our students and to provide viable post-secondary and workforce options for them, and we're seeing great results in that regard. You see the different parts of the mind, the id being Jack with all his sort of tenacity, the super ego is Piggy with his outside influences, the ego is Ralph and then fear and imagination is the mirages. While students obviously benefited from the transformation to the small schools within a school concept, teachers were enhanced as well, mainly from the opportunity to know each and every one of their students in these smaller learning environments. It's personalized for teachers. Uh, there's a lot more transparency for teachers, and I think if you talk to teachers here, they'd say, you know, they see their principal in their classroom a lot more frequently. Um, it's a lot, you're not an island anymore like you were in a large high school. You know, the people are, are there, people are watching, um, people are supporting, um, there's collegial relationships between teachers, and that's resulted in higher, um, higher instruction, better instruction. And that's the core, the key lever for us in terms of, of affecting student achievement has been improving teaching and learning. Well, we're only separated by three elective courses. We all offer a college prep curriculum. And so once they move through it and understand that this is just to prepare them for college, each, you know, each, each of the school's central mission is to pr prepare them for college, then they feel a lot better about it. Had I given in? I will not stand before you today honored and humbled to be the first African-American male valedictorian of Booker T. Washington High School in more than a decade.
It is sometimes the case that outcomes cannot be totally measured by graduation rates and scholarship money alone. Occasionally, the best measure is a single student who was transformed by a relatively short lifetime of experiences, some of which were associated with a single APS high school.